DNS servers hold different types of entries, which are called resource records. These resource records are used to provide DNS-based data about computers on a network. Now in this lecture, I'm going to provide a general overview of the most common types of resource records that you will encounter while working on DNS. The resource record types we will cover are the SOA, NS, A, PTR, CNAME, MX, and SRV resource record types. The first type is an SOA, or Start of Authority, resource record. Every zone contains an SOA resource record at the beginning of the zone. The SOA resource record contains information about the DNS server that has provided the data for that particular zone. The next resource record is an NS, or Name Server resource record. The NS record indicates the zone's authoritative DNS servers. Every zone must contain at least one NS record at the root of the zone. An A resource record maps an FQDN, or also known as fully qualified domain name, to an IP address. An example of a fully qualified domain name would be itfdc01.itflea.com. A PTR or pointer resource does the exact opposite of an A record by mapping an IP address to a fully qualified domain name. A CNAME resource record creates an alias for a specified fully qualified domain name. For example, if you have the FQDN of itfdc01.itflea.com, but the server's name was changed to itfleadc01.itflea.com, you could create a CNAME resource record to point all traffic headed to itfdc01.itflea.com to itfleadc01.itflea.com. An MX resource record is used to specify email servers for the zone. If you do not have a mail server such as Exchange 2010, then you will not use or see this type of entry. An SRV resource record allows you to specify servers for a particular service or protocol. For example, if you are running a web server on your domain, you could create an SRV resource record and specify the FQDN and the port of the server so it would be easily accessible to anyone who queried your DNS server. All right, that's the last resource record type that we need to cover. Now, there was a lot of information in this lecture, and it's likely you're not going to remember it all, so you might want to check this one out more than once. Great job getting through this lecture. I will see you in the next one.